At Oberlin, we go from egg all the way through to fly. We've been here since 2017, growing the black soldier fly. I do refer to myself as a bug farmer, mainly a, a colloquialism, but, but really we are a protein company. So one of the things Oberlin is really striving to be is a zero waste company. So we have found a way to take every component of the soldier fly throughout its life cycle and actually turn that into a product. I start my day here in the fly room where we have these large tents. In here, we optimize temperature and humidity to promote our black soldier flies to mate and for the females to lay eggs. One of the optimal conditions for our fly tents is our egg blocks, which we have designed to promote females to land on and to lay their eggs in so we can easily collect them. They hatch out as larvae and then they begin their journey to grow 8,000 times their size over the next 12 days. The main product that we sell here is the actual larvae. And this is for the niche pet market. So these are people who own lizards and frogs and akin to you going to the store to buy worms for fishing is clients will come in and buy these worms for their pets at home. Obi was a leopard gecko that uh, we had as a mascot. So the name came from a former employee's daughters who named the lizard Obi, of course, after Overland, and we thought it was a great name and decided to make it the brand mascot and the brand name for our products. Everybody poops, as we like to say here, and one of the products that comes out of our process is the worm casting. And that is a very, very good fertilizer, and, and we are looking at, at different markets and ways to market that product as well. The remainder of the larvae are dried, and then they're either sold as a whole dried product, so for wild birds or ducks. The rest will get ground into a powder. It's about 50 to 55% protein by weight and can be blended into other feeds, such as a salmon feed or fish feed, or a dog or cat pellet. For us, the bioeconomy really circles around the byproducts and food wastes that we produce. It's estimated that about 60% of the calories that are produced in Canada are actually end up as food waste. And this is something that, that many, many different people are looking at and are, are actually trying to, to solve at all different levels. And Oberlin fits in there with the black soldier fly in sort of the, the organics and byproducts that are not good enough to end up in, in, in food banks and, and other areas where they should go first. Right now what happens is they often go into compost or anaerobic digestion. And so we fit in a sort of that middle ground and we can take those organics and turn them into really high quality protein. With our local craft breweries, we create a circular economy where we mutually benefit each other by we'll take their grain waste and we'll actually use that as food for our larvae. The challenges that we as an industry face is that the demand for the protein is so high that none of us right now are able to meet that demand. And so that's why Overland is actually looking to expand. And in fact, we're moving from this 7,000 square foot facility into a purpose-built 100,000 square foot facility. The core purpose of Overland is to be a socially responsible company. One of the things that I really strive for with myself and to my employees is that we come to work knowing that we're trying to leave the world a better place every day.